All rise, please. We will be open to prayer by Hester Bass, followed immediately by the Pledge of Allegiance, which will be led this evening by our county extension agent, Danny Griffin. Our gracious Father, we thank you tonight for your kindness, for your love, for your hand over our county and all it is. Father, I just ask you, as we do business for the county, let us keep our mind upon that business and do the best that we can. We thank you for these men and women that you've put on this committee. We know you are working through them and they're working hard for our county. Master, we just ask you to have your divine way. Hold us in your care. In <coughs> Jesus' name, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. some last minute additions to the to the uh, package we were given an ordinance at the last minute to appropriate some grant funds and two additional resolutions one for ARP funds which is approving committee Tuesday and one which was prepared for us today about what river planning and development do I hear a motion to uh, uh, approve of these changes to the agenda. We make a motion. We approve the changes to the agenda. Second. second. We have a motion by Bill Hart and second by Mary Phillips to approve the changes to the agenda. Are there any other changes that anyone would like to make? Roll call vote to approve the agenda. Holt. Yes. Nikki. Yes. Sarah. Yes. Phillips. Yes. Hensley. Yes. Bradford. Yes. Tatum. Yes. Lemmings. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Uh, you have copies of the minutes, the treasurer's report, and the appropriations analysis. Do I hear a motion to approve those? I have a motion. Second. We have a motion to approve by Brian Tatum. A second by Nikki Brown to approve the minutes and the financial reports. Any discussion on any of those reports? All in favor of approving the, the report, signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, you have copies of the County Road Equipment Report, the Sheriff's Report. Uh, do we have any questions or comments about either of those? Okay. Uh, next, we have county boards to address the court. Are there any elected officials who would like to address the court? Court, do you have any questions for any department heads or elected officials here this yes. evening? Oh, come right on up. Deborah Meyer with the Van Buren County Library. Um, as you may know, that uh, Damascus has been operating on two days a week since Karen has been sick. Uh, I was just informed today that she may be submitting her paperwork uh, for retirement. Uh, Things aren't getting very well. Um, I would like to consider hiring another person, and it will be part time. It will have to be part time. So, are you talking about an additional person or a replacement for Karen? Basically, a replacement for Carol, and she's got uh, Karen. She needs to submit her paperwork, I guess, by the second of May, so that she can retire. On in June. Okay. That is the plan. So that, that position is already existing and it's been approved by the court. So uh, just get with your board because you are more than welcome to uh, hire a replacement. Thank you. Uh, anyone else who would like to approach the court? Bill, yeah, I want to mention one thing. It's a, it's a praise to me. We finally have moved back to the basic uh, guidelines for our jail so we went back to screening and taking temperature 
and we can place them in the population if they do not have a symptom. So uh, that's a praise for us. So we're, we're slowly getting this train moving again and I think everything's going in the right direction. So just want to let everybody know that. We're trying to work on getting our visitation going again, uh, getting our pastors back in to see uh, some of the inmates that want to visit with the ministers. And, and so everything's kind of starting to get back to a little bit of normalcy in the jail. So uh, we are very thankful of that and very proud of that. So if anybody's got any questions, y'all call me, come by and see me. I'll be glad to show you the jail, give you a tour, and we can walk the fence. So thank y'all very much. Any other items? Mary Phillips, you, okay. you got a big one. Yes, uh, I attended the AAQC, uh, the 75 member uh, meeting in Little Rock, um, I think a week ago Saturday. And I brought back, since I had to take the minutes, I brought back some interesting information for you. Okay, I hope it's interesting. Uh, we have, I think you've heard some of this, but we have a one-time payment of $5,000 uh, stipend to eligible full-time law enforcement officers beginning July 1 uh, this year, okay? And uh, we are, uh, I think the assessment office, and I found this interesting, you probably have told us about this, but uh, we're having lower assessments for this this year. Well, they had the the values they put out were higher, and they're going to yes. lower them. Yes, year. that's for 2022. 20, okay, and the county jail reimbursements will be raised to forty dollars a day effective July one. Okay. Um, and there's going to be uh, the prison in Calico Rock will be greatly enlarged. I wish it was us, <laughs> but they're going to get a, a whole lot of money. Okay, and um, how many of you heard about the uh, opioid litigation? Okay, are you all familiar with the opioid litigation? Okay, uh, just in a nutshell, uh, Arkansas got to it first, and um, we're in the abatement phase, and we'll be in that phase probably for about 18 years, but we will be having money coming back uh, to us, and it's going to be about 200 million, and uh, it should be coming all the way down to county level. Okay, so um, the person that spoke to us uh, was an attorney, uh, Colin Jorgensen, and uh, he encouraged us all to start thinking outside the box and start thinking of things that we could do. Um, with this money for um, the op opioid problem, okay? Because we too could help. And we, we could also get grants from this money. So start thinking out of the box how we can help. Would you care to tell them how restricted these funds are? Uh, very restricted. For, for uh, mitigation of the opioid crisis specifically? Yes. Yeah. I mean, there are hoops that we can that we will be jumping through, uh, but everybody's going to be jumping through the same hoops. So, but start thinking of ways that we can help people who are uh, addicted to opioids or uh, along that kind of line down here on the county level. Okay, that's it. Anything else before we move on to new business? Our first item is an appropriation ordinance sponsored by Virgil Lennox. Be enacted by the Quorum Court of the County of Van Buren, the state of Arkansas, an appropriation ordinance to be entitled Appropriation Ordinance to amend the original appropriation ordinance 2021 51, the annual operating budget for 2022, and appropriate and transfer $4,358 into the collector's automation fund. Uh, 3001-104-3021 from the voter registration budget 1000-121-3021 whereas the county voter registration office was required to mail out new voter registration cards 
the postage machine and the collector's office was used. And whereas the funds need to be transferred from the voter registration office to the collector's automation fund and appropriated into uh, replace the postage needed. Now therefore be it ordained by the quorum court of the county of Van Buren, the state of Arkansas, that section one, uh, number one, that the uh, $4,358 and, and be transferred and appropriated to the collector's automation fund, 3001 that's 104 3021 posted from the voter registration office 1000 121 3021 postage. I move that we approve as written. Okay, we have a motion by Virgil Lindings and a second by Nikki Brown to this ordinance. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Cole? Yes. Nikki? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Phillips? Yes. Hensley? Yes. Bradford? Yes. Tatum? Yes. Lemmings? Yes. Bass? Yes. Oh, 20, 22, 13. Mary Phillips, you have the next one. Being enacted by the Corp Court of the County of Van Buren, State of Arkansas, an appropriation ordinance to be entitled, an appropriation ordinance to amend the original appropriation ordinance, 2021-51, uh, <coughs> the annual operating budget for 2022, to increase the projected revenue and appropriate $25 into the Van Buren County Sheriff's Office budget, uh, number 1000-400, and $844.54 into the Detention Center budget, number 1000-418. Whereas the Van Buren County Sheriff's Office received an annual registration fee of $25 for the renewal of buyers of used catalytic converters House Bill uh, 1012, and whereas these funds will need to be appropriated into the Sheriff's Office Budget Number 1000-400-2001 General Supplies, and whereas the Detention Center received a reimbursement of $844.54 for hygiene products from the Van Buren County Inmate Commissary, and whereas these funds will need to be appropriated into the Detention Center Budget Number 1000 418-2009, inmate supplies. Now therefore, be it ordained by the Quorum Court of Van Buren County, Arkansas, that section one, $25 be appropriated into the Sheriff's Office budget number 1000-400-2001, general supplies, and section two, $844.54 be appropriated into the detention center budget number 1000-418-2009 inmate supplies. I move we accept this. We have a motion by Mary Phillips and a second by Russell Hensley to adopt this ordinance. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Cole? Yes. Nikki? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Phillips? Yes. Hensley? Yes. Bradford? Yes. Tatum? Yes. Lemmings? Yes. Bass? Yes. O twenty twenty two fourteen. Being enacted by the Quorum Court of the County of Van Buren, State of Arkansas, appropriation ordinance to be entitled an appropriation ordinance to increase revenues and appropriate $17,995 into County Roads Light Item 2000-0200-4004 Capital Outlay Vehicles, whereas the Van Buren County Road Department has received payment from Travelers Insurance of Dallas, Texas for the total loss of a county truck, VIN number 1GC2KVCG4CZ321838 as a result of a collision during an ice storm, and whereas there is a need to appropriate the funds to replace the truck. Now therefore be ordained by the Coral Court of Van Buren County, Arkansas, that the sum of $17,995 be appropriated to line item 2000-0200-4005 capital outlay vehicles. I move to approve this. Second. Okay, we have a motion to approve by Della Holt and Virgil and Esther. Who wants the second? <laughs> well, the second by Esther Bass. <laughs> Any discussion? Got a question. You bet. Uh, as I read this, uh, in the top line it's 4004, down on the bottom it's 4005. Is that correct? Ooh, good catch. Hmm. Which one is it? That's what we run into when we recycle old appropriations or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure.
sure that it was all yeah. my fault. Good catch. I'm glad you caught that. Gosh, I don't know which one that was. Yeah. All I have here is our solid one. Let me finish the sheriff's office. Look at me making our home court meeting last a whole lot longer than we <laughs> Okay, so. Y'all want to look in the uh, sheriff's office budget. If you get it before I do, so there's already some money in their budget for that and that line item. So, see the right. going to be capital outlay uh, for equipment other than vehicles and one is for vehicles. And the vehicles is 4005. 4005. Okay. So we'll correct uh, the top one to 4005. And now I'll move to First of all, let's uh, So do I hear a motion to amend? I make a motion. We amend it to 4005 on the capital outlay from the first paragraph. Okay. Second. second. Okay. We have a motion by Bill Holt and a second by Virgil Lemmings to amend it for the top line in the, in the title to read 4005 instead of 4004. Any discussion on the amendment? All those in favor of the amendment signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Now then, we have a... Uh, Ordinance up for discussion. Roll call vote. Holt? Yes. Nikki? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Phillips? Yes. Kinsley? Yes. Bradford? Yes. Tatum? Yes. Lemmings? Yes. Bass? Yes. O twenty twenty two fifteen. Can Esther? That's our next one. Court, the County of Van Buren, State of Arkansas, an appropriation ordinance to be entitled an appropriation ordinance to amend the original appropriation ordinance number 2021 51, the annual operating budget for 2000, 2022, to increase the projected revenue and appropriate up to $118.44 into the Election Commission budget number 1000 109. Or has the county received a reimbursement check from the State Board of Election Commissioners of mileage for attending Election Commission training on February the 10th, 2022? And whereas funds need to be appropriated to the Election Commission budget as follows travel 1000 409 3030, $118.44. Now, therefore, we be it ordained by the former Court of Van Buren County, Arkansas. That section one, one $118.44 be appropriated to the election commission budget number 1,109 as approved. I as stated above, I move for its approval. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Bass, a second by Brian Tatum to adopt this ordinance. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Holt, yes. Nikki, yes. Sarah, yes. Phillips, yes. Kinsley, yes. Bradford, yes. Tatum, yes. Lemmings, yes. Bass. Yes. O 2022 16. Russell, do you have our next? Okay. Being enacted by the Corn Court of the County of Van Buren, State of Arkansas, an appropriation ordinance to be entitled, an appropriation ordinance to increase revenues and appropriate. $5,395.99 into a solid waste budget fund, 3009-700-9999, whereas reimbursement fund have been received from grants and whereas 
there's a need to appropriate the funds. Now, therefore, it be ordained by the Corn Court of Emory County, Arkansas, that the sum of $5,395.99 be appropriated in the Solid Waste Budget Fund, 3009-700-9999, transfer out. I move that we uh, accept as written. I second. We have a motion by uh, Russell Hensley and a second by Mr. Bass to adopt this ordinance. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Holt? Yes. Nikki? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Phillips? Yes. Hensley? Yes. Bradford? Yes. Tatum? Yes. Lemmings? Yes. Bass? Yes. O twenty twenty two seventeen. Thank you. Our next one is sponsored by Del Holt. It's the one that was added earlier in the agenda. To the agenda. Being enacted by the Corn Court of the County of Van Buren, State of Arkansas, an appropriation ordinance to be entitled an appropriation ordinance to increase revenues and appropriate an additional $39,410 and to fund 3513 Senior Citizen Center Grant. Whereas the Van Buren County Senior Citizen Center has received a grant for a food truck and kitchen equipment, and whereas Fund 3513 was established by Ordinance 2021 41 for this purpose, and whereas federal procurement was conducted by the White River Planning Development District, and whereas there is a need to appropriate the funds. There therefore be it ordained by the Corn Court of Amherst County, Arkansas, that the sum of $39,410 be appropriated to light out of 3513-0116-9999. Transfer out. I move to approve this ordinance. Second. second. We have a motion to adopt by Del Holt, the second by Nikki Brown. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Oh, okay, oh, you bet. So the for a food truck, the kitchen equipment, are they needing some new stuff? I mean, they haven't been, the kitchen was already set up. I'm just trying to understand what. You bet. So uh, there was COVID funds set aside at the, either, the well, it's at the federal level for this specific purpose. So they could go after a grant that, that was within that purpose. So they received like $135,000 and some change before and that was for a food truck and some kitchen equipment. And then they were told that they may or may not be able, because of the supply chain, to get that food truck. So it was put on hold for just a little bit. Now they're told that the food trucks are assembled and ready and they're due for delivery, but their price has gone up in between the time that all the paperwork was done. And so they went back and that grant was increased to cover the entire cost. So we, that's the, the difference. The, the well, price of the food truck increased $39,410. Wow. So, so they're going to try to deliver meals to, to out to homes, to individuals? Or? They, uh, they already do that. What this food truck will do, it allows one kitchen to be used for all of Andrea County instead of operating all these different kitchens. So we almost, the aging program just almost went up. All right. So now, by using one kitchen, instead of hiring all those redundant staff in, in different, five different locations, it's at one. This is, it's like a catering truck. It keeps the food at temperature for healthy delivery. Right. So it just makes its round to the different centers, and uh, they can, it can also go out to awesome. the office when needed. Awesome deal. Yeah. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there's a request for some meals to be brought over this center to the Shirley Center. Yes, yes. And uh, I hope that goes through. And that would, that would help that. You bet. It's a good thing. Good thing we got going. <coughs> I love the discussion. Any more? We'll call vote. Holt? Yes. Nikki? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Phillips? Yes. Hensley? Yes. Bradford? Yes. Tatum? Yes. Lemmings? Yes. Bass? Yes. <coughs> oh, 2022 20, Thank you. Since we have just a few resolutions and most of them are worthy of reading, we'll go ahead and read our resolutions this evening. Uh, Sarah, you have the first one. A resolution adopting the Van Buren County Multi-Jurisdictional 
jurisdictional hazard mitigation plan with the intent to participate and to work toward becoming a safer community. Whereas the county of Vanier County, Arkansas recognizes that no community is immune from natural hazards, whether it be tornado, severe thunderstorm, flood, severe winter weather, drought, heat wave, earthquake, dam failure, or wildfire, it recognizes the importance of enhancing its ability to withstand natural hazards as well as the importance of reducing the human suffering, suffering property damage, interruption of public services, and economic losses caused by those hazards. And whereas the County of Van Buren, Arkansas may have previously pursued measures such as building codes, fire codes, floodplain management regulations, zoning ordinances, and storm water management regulations to minimize the impact of natural hazards. And whereas the Federal Emergency Management Agency of Ar the Arkansas Department of Emergency Management and the Arkansas Department of Emergency Management Agency have deployed a natural hazard mitigation program that assists communities in their efforts to become disaster resistant communities that focus not just on disaster relief, but also on recovery and reconstruction that brings the community to at least pre-disaster conditions in an accelerated, orderly, and pre-planned manner. <clears throat> and whereas by participating in the Natural Hazards Mitigation Program, the County of Van Buren, Arkansas, will be eligible to apply for post-disaster mitigation funds and whereas the County of Van Buren, Arkansas will implement pertinent precepts of the mitigation plan in cooperation with the community partners and by incorporation of rele relevant information into other community plans and mechanisms <coughs> where appropriate and whereas the County of Van Buren, Arkansas will participate in the evaluation and review of the plan after the disaster as well as a complete a as well as complete a mandated five year updated submitted update submitted to the state emergency management agency and federal emergency management agency for review and approval. And whereas the County of Van Buren, Arkansas acknowledges that participation in the the plan is voluntary, not mandatory, and can withdraw and not be eligible for said grant funds at any time or upon date of the plan, at least every five years as required. Now therefore be it resolved by the governing body of the County of Van Buren County, Van Buren, Arkansas, as follows, the County of Van Buren, Arkansas hereby approved the regional multi-jurisdictional Natural Hazard Mitigation Plan at attached here to for the purpose of building a safer community by reducing natural hazard vulnerability. I mean, to Second. Second. Thank you. We have a motion to adopt this resolution by Sarah Brown, a second by Bill Holt. Any discussion on, on a mitigation plan? I would have the entire plan. Is that plan pretty heavy duty. The plan is supplied to us to review and agree to. That plan was uh, it was in your packet. Mm -hmm. yes. email. That you got emailed. Email. Yeah. It, it's pretty thick. It was like 103. 103 pages. Yeah, it was. Uh, we we had assistance by Hot River Planning Development, and it was approved by FEMA. And all we need to do is adopt it as a county. We have to have it adopted by every uh, municipality in the county. And we have to have it adopted by each school district in the county. And then we have a hazard mitigation plan. Uh, the whole purpose is to pre-think disaster preparedness and after disaster uh, occurrences before we actually need to. That way, when everything's chaotic, we just pull our plan off our shelf and follow the, follow the pages. That, that's a perfect world. And even if we can't just follow it to the letter, it, it gets us thinking in the right direction, and it really helps, helps us along. And we are eligible when we have an active mitigation plan 
for uh, mitigation grants and uh, post disaster grants. So this would be state uh, management agency as well as a federal man management agency that's backing this? Yes, yes. Uh, it, they're all in coordination. FEMA, which is the federal, and yeah. then the Department of Emergency Management in Arkansas all work in tandem to uh, provide support to the counties and the cities uh, for this and, and during the time of disaster. It's heavy duty reading. If you haven't read it, go read it. We, we have one change that we already have in this. You know, these, these things are fluid. They oh, yeah. do change. And it lists Richie Domers as the yeah, uh, emergency management coordinator. And, and uh, Richie is no longer that. It is Warren Johnson. You know, when Richie's <clears throat> wife was ill, uh, he stepped out and Warren stepped in. There's not a downside to this? There's really not. Okay. All right. That threw me there where it said you have the opportunity to uh, renew it yeah. sure. at any point. Why would a person, why would a county want to? If, if, a, uh, if we get into a disaster mm -hmm. and we want to do something contrary to what they say, oh, okay. we, we have the ability to do that. Adopting this resolution signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Resolution authorizing the County Judge Van Buren County, Arkansas to enter into a contract with Van Buren County Call Center Stations related equipment, whereas Van Buren County has received bids to furnish and install two call center stations and related equipment. The funding for the project has been provided by American Rescue Plan funds, and whereas it is necessary for the County Judge to sign the contract prior to execution of the work, and whereas the 911 CAD system project budget was approved with resolution number 2022-04. Now, therefore, it is resolved that the Corn Court of Bangor County, Arkansas, hereby declares the county judge be authorized to execute a contract with AT&T, Arkansas, in the amount not to exceed 94000 plus tax, subject to receipt of registration in sound.gov and the proper bonding and insurance certificates. Uh, said contract amount not to be changed without properly executed change orders. I'd like the motion to approve. Right. Second. Okay. I have a motion to approve by uh, Brian Tatum and a second by Mary Phillips. Any discussion? All those in favor of adopting this resolution signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? R2237. <clears throat> Bid resolved by the Corn Court County of Van Buren, State of Arkansas, a resolution to be entitled the resolution authorizing the following project to be approved and for the project to be paid from the funds received through the American Rescue Plan. Solid waste compliance project with a budget not to exceed fifty thousand. Whereas the budget committee has approved the following expense to be forwarded to the full Corn Court for approval, and whereas federal procurement policies will be followed for the purchasing and whereas there is a need to approve this project. Therefore, to be resolved by the Corn Court, Van Buren County, Arkansas, that the costs associated with installing a pump system in the solid waste pit area needed repairs to the interior wall of the transfer station and improvements to insufficient lighting inside the transfer station is hereby approved with a budget not to exceed 50,000. Any related costs associated with the procurement and installation 
of this project should be approved so long as the project stays within the budget total. Funds shall be transferred into the proper line item through a Van Buren County Court order <coughs> which shall be prepared by the county judge and recorded in the office of the county clerk. Funds for this project shall be reduced from the Corn Court Room project as previously approved in resolution number R22-34. Make a motion to approve as written. Second. Second. We have a motion to approve by Brian Tatum, a second by Nikki Brown. Any discussion? I would like to say that I visited the transfer station today. It was my first time. Um, I learned a lot. Um, Larry and Richard were great and they took me around and so these things listed, I have a lot more understanding than I did before. Um, I was educated on the fact that when those trucks back in to get all that, they are sitting in water and that eats the brakes, it eats the tires. I mean, it is very needed. Saw it, saw it firsthand. The interior wall, horrible. <laughs> Everything listed on here. And the lighting is like going into a cave. So I fully support all this after seeing it firsthand. I would encourage you all to go see it. Thank you. Any further discussion? All those in favor of adopting this resolution signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? transfer. Uh, I will read that for us. We have uh, from landfill tipping fees $3,900,731.04 to machinery equipment $3,900,700-4004 in the amount of $6,900. Purchase two recycling trailers which are grant funded monies which must be paid up front to be reimbursed. Do I hear a motion to adopt this transfer? I make a motion to adopt this transfer. Second. A motion by Bill Holt and a second by Sarah Brown to adopt this transfer. Any discussion? All those in favor of approval signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any public comments? Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Second. Second. <laughs>